What we have here are some order of operation problems, and we're going to be going over how to use the order of operations with these problems. A quick review of the order of operations. The order of operations is the order by which we do operations. Those operations being parentheses, multiplication, division, addition or subtraction, and down the road, exponents. So I've given you this little chart here to remind you that parentheses come first in our rules of how we do the order of operations. Followed by that, we do multiplication or division, right? So how does that work? Well, if division comes before multiplication going left to right, then we're going to do the division part first. And the same with multiplication if it comes before division going left to right. Then after that, the final level of operations would be addition or subtraction, and it's or because we go left to right again. So if subtraction comes before addition, we do that first, left to right, of course. So let's look at our first problem, 80 divided by 10 plus 13. The first step we're gonna do using our order of operations is the division, or if you're funky, division. So let's take a look at it. We've got 80 divided by 10 plus 13, division first, and I do 80 divided by 10. I'm basically looking at that as a standalone problem. 80 divided by 10 is eight. And then what I tell my students often is, I am a copy machine, which I can't do that robot thing with my hands, so I'm just gonna do a strange voice. So you wanna become robotic in that. Any operations that you have yet to do get copied and moved on down the line so that you're not making any silly errors like not copying symbols that have yet to be operated on. What we have left is a pretty simple problem, eight plus 13, there's only one operation left, and eight plus 13 is 21. And that is our answer for that first problem. Let's check out the second problem where we see the order of operations needs to be in full effect. We have parentheses here, so we're gonna go immediately to the parentheses, and within those parentheses, we're gonna use the order of operations. Well, the only operation in there is subtraction, so I'm gonna deal with the subtraction. 16 minus five, so that is 11. And from there, I'm going to copy the rest of what I've yet to evaluate, eight times 11. So now I'm left with a simple multiplication problem of eight times 11, which is 88, and that is our answer. So those order of operations, we will continue to see in the next clip where you'll do one more example with you, and then from there, an awesome word problem. And now for the last order of operations example here, before we get to one heck of a gnarly word problem. So this order of operations problem kind of tests our ability to apply the order of operations to a little bit more operations than you might be used to. But take a deep breath in, Ah, let it out, you'll be just fine. Here we go, we're gonna use our rules. Parentheses first, we see we have parentheses, so we do the order of operations within the parentheses. Four plus two is six. Everything else gets written down. So you evaluate the six, the minus still stays there, the five drops down, the division sign, everything. You could write it backwards, forwards, it doesn't matter. Remember that you are copying everything that you have yet to operate on, that's it. Now we work left to right with multiplication or division, seeing that there's no more parentheses or um, exponents, which again, you won't see until later on in math. 15 times three going left to right, multiplication happens first. 15 times three is 45. Nice, I don't know why I said it in a funny voice, but I was feeling it, we'll go with it. Okay, now we still have division, which we know comes before addition or subtraction. 45 divided by five is nine or or just nine, as most normal people would say. So you get nine. Then you have one more operation left, nine minus six, which is three. So when doing the order of operations, keep calm. Understand the order of operations from the perspective of parentheses, multiplication or division left to right, addition or subtraction left to right, and you'll be in awesome shape. And now to round out the order of operations with None other than a word problem. Sure, there's lots of words, but we're gonna use a technique called translating as you read to figure this one out. Meaning, I don't read the entire word problem and then translate it at the end. I translate as I read the problem into math expressions so that by the time I get to the end of the word problem, I very often can solve what is being asked without having to read this problem several different times. So, this says, 
you buy $12 movie tickets for you and five friends. So right away, I stop there and think, huh, me and five friends order movie tickets. So that's six total people at $12 each. So that's going to be six times $12, along with three popcorns costing $4 each. OK, so that's three popcorns at $4 each. So that's going to be, in addition to the money we spent here, three popcorns at $4 each. Then it says you also use a coupon for $8 off. Well, if we're applying the coupon, we would be subtracting $8 from the money that we just spent, so minus 8. Then we get to the question, how much was your total cost after using the coupon? Well, how do we figure that out? Well, we just solve the expression we already have, and that's the beauty of translating as we go along. So we continue to use the word of operations. Multiplication is the highest powered or the highest level of operation that we have here. We do that first going left to right. 6 times 12 is 72. Don't know why I'm saying that in a weird voice, but I felt like it. And then we keep everything else the same. Then we go and we do the multiplication here. So it's going to be 72 plus 12. Keep everything else the same to minus 8. Now we do addition and then subtraction because looking left to right, we have addition followed by subtraction. So that's going to be 84 minus 8. And let's see what 84 minus 8 is going to give us. Well, 84 minus 8 is going to give us 76. 76 what though? Let's, let's be clear here. We just spent $76 at the movies. And some teachers are going to make you write that as a sentence, which is totally fine. So you would say the total cost after using the coupon is $76. So a little order of operations word problem, a little practice of translating the information given to you in a word problem. I had fun doing it with you. I hope you had fun coming along with this order of operations ride. See you next time.